everybody, my name is Victoria Zuniga. I'm the Surgical Technologist Lab Assistant here at Altamont Healthcare. Today we are doing a video on how to properly gown and glove a team member, specifically a doctor. In a previous video, we talked about how to properly open your gown and gloves on a mayo stand. As you can see, my mayo stand is fully covered. I'm gowned and gloved. I have the proper PPE on, and now I'm ready to gown and glove my doctor that will be coming in shortly. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Okay, so I have my towel. I'm sterile. He's not gown and gloved yet, so I want to be cautious of how I hand him my towel. I'm cuffing my hands. He's going to put one hand out, and I'm going to toss it, okay? Specifically, you want to toss one end of the towel, okay? So he'll dry. You want to pat, you don't want to really rub your skin. Now, while he's drying, I want to have the next step ready. I don't want him waiting on me. So I'm going to have my gown out. You see the tips of my gown. I'm going to grab them with my, my pointer finger and my thumb. I'm going to turn my hands around. So once again, pointer finger and thumb. You're going to cuff your hands because I do not want him to touch me. Or I don't want to touch him, okay? So he's going to, we want it open enough so he can put his hands in. I'm going to stop at the shoulders because behind him, he's not sterile, okay? So at this point, the circulator or the nurse is going to come and they're going to tie him from the back. So at this point, the circulator, who is a non-sterile team member, has come behind doctor and tied him up. Before I move forward, I'm going to pull his cuffs down. I'm going to grab right here because technically the white part of the cuff is not sterile. So I'm gonna pull it down to where all the tips of his or her fingers are showing, at minimum. So once again, all of his tips, I see his thumb showing, we're good. We're going to proceed. Now I have two pairs of gloves here. The reason being, AORN states that double gloving is standard across the board. Now, an example, the, t the bottom glove, which I put on first, is the color blue. This is known as an indicator glove. The top glove will be more of a clear color, beige, whatever you would like to call it. The bottom glove will be there. And if for some reason during a case we had a strike through, so we had a tear in our glove, the bottom glove will indicate that there was a tear. So immediately we're more aware. Now if I just had one pair of glove on and a rip went through and I went to touch my field, my whole field is contaminated. Proceeding to gloving. Now, I'm going to start with the right glove. Unless your doctor specifies that he's left-handed, you always want to start with the right glove. As you can see, I'm taking all of my fingers from the bottom, and I'm opening up that glove so there's a good opening for her or him to put his hand in there without any problem. Right hand. Move forward, as soon as that glove is on, you wanna grab the second glove, okay? Sometimes they'll grab their two fingers and help you out by grabbing the bottom of the glove and making a wider opening, okay? Bottom gloves are on, we're gonna go on with the top. Again, double gloving. He has both of his gloves on. Now we're gonna spin. He's gonna grab me his card. We're both sterile, so there's really not too big of an issue. He wants to make sure, or you wanna make sure you're holding on to this end, because if it falls below you, it's contaminated, right? So he's gonna grab me this. Now if I was a non-sterile team member, I would grab the edge and he would make sure not to touch me. But since we're both sterile, we're fine. If we were to touch, we're totally good. So he's gonna spin, grab the other end, and we are going to begin our case. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Altamont Healthcare. Please give us a call at 209-817-8035.